Hello guys, a quick tutorial today on installing MongoDB and accessing it with a piece of software called RoboMongo. Uh, we just created our virtual machine according to our normal method. We are in the root. We're gonna do an AppCat update. By the way, this is uh, a guide from Digital Ocean itself. And in the guide it says explicitly that it's temporary. So probably this tutorial will be obsolete in well, maybe a few months. Okay, we add key at this key server. Then we do and this command, which I'm not gonna pronounce, but I'll show it to you like so. And we're going to update it. So now we have the proper MongoDB in the package manager. And we can install MongoDB slash org. Rather big install, 235 MBs. Okay, and here's the tricky thing. I'm not gonna explain it if you want to read it, uh, just read the guide on Digital Ocean. I put up the link in the description of the video. What we're going to have to do is uh, Vim eval in Etsy system daemon system MongoDB service. In this file, we got to type a few lines of code. Yeah. Oh, undo, insert, there we go. Again, what all this does, I don't really care. I'm a user, I'm not a creator. Okay, so. We got our MongoDB at the moment. We can call system control start MongoDB. And then we can see system control status of MongoDB. And we can see it's uh, functioning properly. System control enable MongoDB. The thing now is we have no way of accessing it. There's this uh, config file, which is in Etsy Mongo D config. And there's the bind IP, so it only listens to local hosts. So if we had .NET installed on this machine, we could access the MongoDB database via local host but never from the World Wide Web. And, and that's good practice, but we want to access it from the World Wide Web. So what we are going to do is going to enable the firewall. That's gonna be tricky with the SSH connections. So we have to firewall allow port 22 and we're going to allow port 2017, which is uh, this port. Right, that's that's good. Now we can go to vim mongo daemon config. And we go to the bind IP. And we are going to say we open it up to every IP. Great. Now, let's see, our ports are open, all good. We got this program, uh, RoboMongo, can really advise on using it. This is the IP address, we add new connection, create, YouTube tutorial, connection, see it's automatically 
automatically trying to get local host since that's the proper way uh, authentication the, uh, all that kind of stuff it'll come but uh, for now we just want to access our database so we did that we connect network is unreachable the reason for that is uh, because we did not do the following system control restart mongodb because we changed this config file so now if we go back to robo mongo try to connect to this and there we go we got the youtube tutorial connection uh, we can create a database test database we can create collections in it a collection test collection we can go to collection insert a document uh, title this is a test title uh, is it cool true and we save it we view the documents and there we go we got one document with the strange object id thing all coming in a future tutorial with the title and the boolean and the string so there we go fully functioning mongodb server accessible from over the world wide web by everyone on the whole world so don't do this in production just for the fun and this is just for demonstration purposes. All right. Thank you very much. See you next time.